Look at that big tree out there. Uh, one of the newer... Oh, cave. How do we dive? I'm gonna get myself killed, you just watch. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to keep working on uh, finishing our Tier 1 objectives here. Um, we're working on field research at the moment, and uh, we need to set up a production line for screws. Uh, so, the deal here is that each one of these uh, nodes, because they're normal, and because we're using Mark 1 miners, uh, can produce 60 ore per minute. And the smelters can only smelt 30 per minute. So basically, this thing's only working at half capacity because it's bottlenecking right here. So what we're going to do uh, for that is we're going to add a splitter and we're going to split this ore out into another smelter, which is going to make rods, which is then going to connect to a constructor that's going to make screws for us. Um, Alright, so the first thing we need to do is make the splitter itself, and we should be able to put that right on the line. If we just press control. Right, okay. And then let's build ourselves another smelter, except for I'm missing copper wire for that, so let's go get some copper wire out of this. We're also going to need to make, um, look at that, we got a full stack of copper wire, it's a beautiful thing. Power grid shut down, that means something probably ran out of fuel, so let's go see if we can figure that out. Yeah, you ran out of fuel. Okay, so what we're going to do is we, we're going to grab a full stack of biofuel here and slide that on into this guy. And that'll burn at a rate of 10 per minute. Uh, with, the, with the flowers inside of this burner, it was actually doing, I think, 16 per minute uh, just because this guy is more beefy than these. Uh, so this... This does 12, but that one was doing 16 per minute on the flowers. And we'll just keep burning flowers in this one and biomass in that one. In fact, let's get that one topped off. And I'm not really, um, at this point, now that we're making the little hay bale thingies here, I'm not really going to go out of my way to pick... Uh, wild, uh, you know, the flowers anymore because we have the biomass is actually better. But we'll burn up, you know, what we we currently have, which I think is, I think that's everything we have left. I I really don't like the glitchy, framey look of these when they're off in the distance, and I don't know if there's a setting that we can adjust to do that. I I know why the game's doing that. It's you know it's a performance thing, but. I've got a pretty beefy machine that can probably handle it without that. Or at least, you know, extend it so it's further out. But I looked I looked through the graphics options and I mean it, nothing really stuck out at me here. I mean everything's uh, pretty much on ultra. Except for that I did uh, I put global illumination on illumin illumination on medium. So, I, I don't know, I wonder if it's this level of detailed dithering. Let's turn that off and see what that does. Oh, I think that, uh, no, that's not it. It's still, yeah, it's still really framey. Hmm. Yeah, if you guys know in the comments how I can turn that shit off, I don't like it. Let me know. Um, but apparently it wasn't that, so. 
I'll turn that back on. High article Z buffer lowers the quality of the depth buffer may have a performance impact on some systems. Um, I don't think that'll do it, but let's try it and see. Is it still framey? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. We'll just, um... What is that? No, we don't want motion blur. I am running an AMD card, so we have FSR on, as far as that goes. I don't think the anti-aliasing has anything to do with that. I doubt the upscaling has anything to do with it. I don't I don't have vertical sync on, but I haven't really noticed any major screen tearing. So, yeah, let's not turn it on if we don't need to, because that is a bit of a performance impact. So, yeah, let me know, guys, uh, if any of you do know, if, if there's something I can do to... Uh, you know, I... I don't mind it so much if it was further out, but, I mean, it shouldn't be doing it when I'm this close to it. It looks like shit. It really does. So, yeah. Whatever. Okay. Hopefully we can figure it out. Um, what are we doing? We are making a screw production line. That's what we're doing. Okay, so, and I was going to copy this except for that. I can't because... Oh, I couldn't because we were out of wire, but now we have the wire. Okay, so let's um put you lined up with that guy. I'm going to put you right there. And, well, we better move you back over because you're going to be right smack dab in the middle of that pole there. Okay, so let's... Hold down control. Hold down control if, for those of you who don't know, basically lines up the structure with the structure that you're pointing at. Let's put our light on. Okay, so now we want you to go into here, but in order to get that in there nice and straight, um, well, it's going to be really difficult to do that until we get on the grid. Uh, cause that, okay, if we go to there, yeah, see that just lines, lines it up at a right angle, which of course doesn't work for this. Once it's on foundations and on a grid, you know, then it's easy to do, but until then, it's going to be kind of hard for us to, to get this perfect. If we go back to here, maybe... And then into there. And, uh, I mean, it's it's almost perfect. <laughs> it's off slightly, but you know what? For for this purpose, I think it's fine. All right, so uh, you're gonna make iron ingots, and we need to get you some power. I know everything is just a spaghetti mess around here right now, but we'll make it nice and neat when the time comes. Trust me, we shall do that for sure. Tell you what we're going to do, because uh, we're going to have to extend some more stuff out this way. Why don't we pop a new power pull on right here, except for we are out of concrete. Let's go get some concrete. All right, so I want you to attach to there and just you can go right there. That's fine. And power you up there. Okay, what's going on here? Why isn't that feeding through? Hmm. Okay, let's see if we can figure out what the hell's going on here. Okay, so it's like it didn't... It's like it didn't connect properly. Try this again. Put the splitter, hold down control. Now attach the conveyor belt. Yeah. That is weird, man. 
Okay, I guess we have to re... We shouldn't have to do this, but apparently we have to reattach these... This conveyor belt. I thought it would just... You know, do its thing. What? <laughs> How'd that happen? That was weird. Okay, try this again. Connect. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I know what the problem is. I put it on the wrong direction. I'm a noob. Okay. Let's try this all over again. I had it going the wrong freaking way. So, let's reestablish this belt. Um, go to splitter. Hold down control. That's the way we want it. I had the input on the wrong side. Okay. Um... It's probably not going to be perfectly lined up with this conveyor belt, but that's okay. Uh, Houston? Okay, still not working. Now it's working. So even with the direction going the right way, I still had to redo the conveyor belt. That's too bad, man. I, th I thought that would... Uh, uh, I wonder if it has something to do with the height being weird. That maybe is it. We'll try that again, you know, when we're in a more level situation. And, you know, see if we can get that to work correctly. Okay, so I know for sure we're going to need two more reinforced plates, so we might as well just make those straight up. And we can't because we're missing... What are we missing? More screws, I guess. And we're going to need some more plates, too. Grab a... Uh, actually, let's grab two stacks of plates. Okay, so we made four reinforced plates because we're going to need two constructors for this deal. Okay, so copy you. Turn you this, no, this way. And line you up. I want to actually line you up with... Yeah, uh, you. acting weird. I think that's where I want it to go. I think it was trying to, to figure out, okay, which one of these do you want me to line up on? Alright, now we set you to make rods. And connect your power. Okay, now we need another one of these. And again, uh, oh, we're missing cable. Wait, cable? Yeah, cable. Okay, let's grab some, some more copper spool. Well, no, we have plenty of copper spool. I just need to make the actual cable. Okay, let's try this again. Copy you. Line you up. Right about here is good. Conveyor into you. You make screws. And let's do another power line. Hook it up to you and pull you over here. And then we just need a storage container. Voila. And we have a screw production line going. Okay. Cool. I like how it puts the little legs down here so it's not just floating up in the air. Love that. So, um... Let's see here. Let's load that up and these up. And now we're just waiting on 300 screws. 
make that to 296 screws. Um, let's see, how are you doing? You're doing pretty good on biofuel. We're getting low on on wood for making that, but that's okay. Now I happen to know, just because I happen to know, once they change something significant, what is that? Oh, that's iron ore. Uh, that, we're gonna need cable production going. I'm gonna take that down temporarily. Oh, no, that's not the one I wanted to take down. Take this one down temporarily. So we can put the extra iron ore in here and let it run down a bit. Um, so, yeah, that's the next thing we need to do is we need to get a cable production line going. And it's the same situation here where we're going to run a splitter off of here for the cable. So let's put the splitter on here. And it is going the right direction. Just out of curiosity. See, that one works. So I think I think maybe we were just too close to the ground or something on that other one. That's probably what was going on with that. Okay. So, um, we need another one of you. And we can go ahead and line you up. Well, actually, no. Let's... Yeah, let's line you up like this. And we'll put you right there. Okay, we need to run a power line. Okay, let's put a line right here. We're probably going to get close to running out of power here pretty quick. All right, I'm not, I'm not going to try and make that nice and neat. Screw it. It doesn't matter for this. It will matter later, but it doesn't matter right now. Okay, so that gets more copper smelting. Um, now we need a another constructor, and actually we're going to need two more constructors, which means I need to make four more reinforced plates, which I do not have at the moment. We should also take a peek at our power, too. Oh, yeah, we're getting, uh, we're getting close. We have a total capacity of 70 megawatts. Yeah, we're getting really close. Okay, so what that means is we need to make another one of these guys. And uh, let's just put it... Whoops, hit the wrong button there. Let's turn it this way, I guess. We'll throw some biomass in there. Do we have room? No, we don't have room to connect that pole or that pole. Oh, shit. Okay. This is such a mess right now. There we go. Okay. Now we should have... Yeah, but we have 100, 100 megawatt capacity, so probably we'll have enough to do everything we need to do. Let's make some reinforced plates. Okay, let's copy you. And 
flip you this way. Make sure you're mostly lined up there. Go into there. You make wire. And we'll connect power onto you. I think we're good, right? Okay. Now we need another one of you. there. Run a conveyor belt down into that and set you into making cable. We need another power connection. Um, let's do Oh, we're missing rods. What are you making? You're making plates. There's our rods. terrible we don't care though not right now okay copy you turn you this way and we've got cable production going excellent all right so now next thing is to see if we have everything we need to finish this. We just need the screws. I think uh, that should do it. Field research. The map has been unlocked. Yay! We have a map now. Look at that. Milestone reached. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. Note, the object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. Mm okay, I think she's done. Nice. Okay, so now we have a map. And, um, of course, we've only ever uncovered just a tiny little area here so far. It's interesting that... Oh, it's almost like that passes from one border over to the other. That's really bizarre. Hmm. Okay. Very cool. Um, all right. We're not going to really do much with that right at the moment. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> yeah, I know. I kind of feel that way some days, too. <laughs> okay. Um, so, what we're going to do now is we're going to go into here. And we're going to put the... Ba uh, uh, mushroom bacon bacon mushroom down here and we can use the scroll wheel to quickly switch between hand slots so heal up combat heal up combat etc very nice and we are now also on uh, or we're finished actually with with tier 1 uh, so tier 2 is the next thing coming up here and um, I think probably the chainsaw resource sink. Yeah, we're going to de definitely want that. Mark two belts. I think the chainsaw will be the first thing we'll go after. And as you can see, this requires cable. And we've already started the production line for that, which is amazing. Um, let's actually select that milestone right now. And uh, we can put the concrete in. Oh no, we can't do that until the until our little rocket dude comes back, but he's on his way back right now. He, she, it. There it is right there. That's so cool.
Okay, so we're kind of at that point now where it's we need to start thinking about setting up our our real our real factory meaning a factory on foundations and on a grid and nice and neat and organized and that sort of thing uh, this was all just to kind of get us going um, and I'm gonna pick all of this crap up and and remove it once we get started with the real factory so the question now really then is where <laughs> are we gonna do that um, I'm very inclined to build out over the water. Uh, we talked about that in the first episode. Because, you know, I think it'll be really cool. While we're running around, let's be sure to be picking this stuff up. But more importantly, you know, from a practical standpoint, we'll have pretty much, I mean, virtually unlimited space. We don't have to worry about obstacles. We just have a nice, flat, straight area that we can build out as damn near as far as we want. Okay, that's a bad guy over there. Um, and he's guarding one of those anomalous thingamadoodles that... Oh, bacon mushroom. Uh, that I don't think... I, I don't know if those have been implemented yet or not. But if you get near that thing that my, my crosshair is pointing at... It like mine. Uh, it like um, what's the word? Hypnotizes you or tries to talk you into going to pick it, telling you you have to pick it. It's very important that you pick it, kind of thing. Uh, but they've never done anything with those to date, unless I, unless it, they did do something in update eight. I don't know. We, we won't be able to tell that until we actually go mess with one of them. So the question then is where? I mean, we kind of need to stay. We should stay in this general area just because all of our ore is right there. That doesn't mean we have to, though, but... Yeah, it doesn't mean we have to. Maybe Let's just do a little bit of exploring. we got to kind of wait for some of that stuff to build up anyway. Um, well, on, on second thought, change, change the plan. We are going to go exploring in this episode, but I'm going to actually get the first milestone so we can bring the chainsaw with us and bring back a metric shite ton of wood because one of the first things we, we need to do once we get the real factory going is we want to set up a a biomass uh, production line and uh, to do that properly we need lots and lots of wood meaning we need the chainsaw so let's grab whatever concrete's in the well. I guess we already loaded all the concrete, didn't we? I stopped something over here. What was it? It was you. To get the rest of that iron ore in there. What's that? That's copper. Okay, let's hook this back up. Let's momentarily do the same thing here. Uh, just so I can get that little bit of copper or out of my inventory to s save that slot. And um, let's see how many cable we've made so far. Oh, we're already over 100. Look at that. And we probably have all the screws we need, too. Maybe not on the screws. Okay, so yeah, we need, uh, well, we just, yeah, we need uh, 215 more. Okay. So we're not quite as close to that as I thought we were. Let's get back over here. Can we dump the rest of that in there? Just about. We'll wait till it goes down to 96. Keeps getting uh, blocked up, though. There we go. Okay, now we can put this back. All right, so, yeah, we have to wait for the screws to build up. 
And uh, I think what I'm going to do then is I, I might help it along by manually making some of those because I don't want to really go out and about until we have our chainsaw. So I will bring you guys back when we're ready to do that. Okay, we have enough screws here. And there we go. Milestone reached. Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Additionally, R&D inflated your pocket dimension. Nice. Inventory space, baby. We got some more slots there. Uh, all right, so I think we make the chainsaw here in the workshop. Uh, yes, we do. So we're going to need uh, more screws and five reinforced plates. Okay. Okay. Let's make ourselves a chainsaw. Very nice. Okay. And we'll put that in that slot. Okay. We need uh, biofuel to run it. We'll grab a stack of biofuel and do we how do we load this thing? I can't remember. Oh. Oh, 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 right, right. Okay. There's biofuel and there's biomass. I have biomass. I need biofuel. Okay, so um let's see here. Gotta remember how that works. And did we run out of fuel in here? Yeah, we did. Okay, here, well, let's just put this in here then. Are you, you're out of fuel, okay. This is why we need to go out and get a bunch of wood. Let's top you off as well. And yeah, we'll top you off. Okay. Now, to make biofuel, uh, we have to select this. And then we have to put this in here. There we go. Okay. It's like Presto Lugs. Man, looking at that, like, gives me a freaking headache. I don't like it. I don't like those changes. I know they did it for performance, but if it gives you a, a migraine when you look at it, or it irritates you because when you're only 20 feet away from it, it still looks like that. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> oh, well. All right. Now we should be good on um, on this. I don't think. That's pretty quiet. Um, I don't think that we can really use this as a weapon, though. So we should probably keep our weapon in our hand until we know we're in a relatively safe area. Now, before we set out, um, Parts assembly, resource sink, or logistics mark two. We're gonna need parts assembly to make the rotors for jump pads. Uh, the resource sink does not need those, but we're gonna need to make uh, reinforced plates for logistics mark two. And I don't really want to do that do that manually. So it seems to me like parts assembly is the thing that makes the next most sense. So let's select that. And we are making all of this stuff. So we'll just let it build up. And then by the time we get back from our little jaunt here, maybe we'll have everything we need to do that milestone. Okay, so here's the deal. I want to... I want to kind of just explore the coast here and maybe go 
north a bit too and try to decide where uh, where the best location is for us to set up our first actual factory but um, again my intent at least for now is to build multiple factories in multiple locations across the map and not just have one one single big mega factory in one spot um, at least that's again that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now okay let's deal with this all right and then we can just switch over to this and take some bacon mushroom Got a big rock island over that way. Looks like this... Well... Yeah, looks like there's quite a ways further north. So let's kind of just explore on the way... Oh shit! Oh, shit. We don't want to get near those guys because they spit poison. They're all over the place. Um, anyway, what I was about to say was... There's a slug. I don't know if we can get to that without them guys killing us. Uh, we don't need the slug right now. We'll worry about those guys later. Anyway, um, explore on the way out and then cut wood on the way back. But it looks like we might already be... Well, no, there's there's still quite a bit of coastline here. There's an inlet here. The other thing we can do, too, is we can scan for... Uh, more locations. You know, or, or, loca uh, or locations. Don't have to necessarily use the ones we're at, though. There's a nice little collection of them there. Look at that big tree out there. Uh, one of the newer... How do we dive? I'm gonna get myself killed, you just watch. Oh! There's one of those... those thingies. That bird flew underwater. Are you gonna tell me that I have to pick you up? not telling me that. The mycelia within this fungus suggests strong molecular bonding features frequently observed in adhesives and medicine, both beneficial for field research. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Nice. Thanks, ma'am. Well, we needed to come in here for this stuff. Uh, among other things, we can use it to make uh, better, you know, first aid medicine. So let's pick all of it that we have in sight here. Um, I mean, I don't even know how we would get to that, even if we wanted to. Harvest. Yeah, see, that was it. That was a little psychic message. I guess we can just do it this way, right? <laughs> okay, let's pick it up. See, the thing is, it still says work in progress, so... Comply. I, I did comply. Shut up. I think... Uh, so that would seem to suggest that it's not... Whatever it's supposed to do is still not implemented yet. How did I miss those mushrooms? Huh. 
Okay, um, so I guess that's the main reason to come in here, unless there's another underwater passage. Out. I, I don't know how to dive. Maybe, how do we dive under the water? I don't know. Uh, it's not C, it's not V, it's not B. It's not Z. Hmm. Maybe we're not supposed to. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. This is scary. Um, how do we get out of here? Is this the way we came through? I think so. Yeah. We can, we can dive, you know, when the cave ceiling forces us under. Whew, okay. That was an adventure. Okay, let's run along through this inlet here. I want to just, uh... We got a little bit of a aquatic... Oh, bad guy. There's also a slug in there, too. For those of you who don't know, the slugs, you can research them and turn them into what are called power shards, and then you can use those to overclock your machines. This is some of that SAM ore. I never did figure out what the hell this was used for. But I think we might need it for some research stuff, so let's grab a little bit of it. This bay's kind of neat. I just wish we could dive under the water to look. It doesn't want to let me do it. A little waterfall over there. It's kind of cool looking. Alright, let's go to the map again. So I just wonder how much further north we can go until it starts curving around and heading to the east. I'm not... Oh, we need this too. Caterium. We'll have to find a deposit of this. New technologies can be developed based on this new superconductive gold-like element, primarily in power and electronics. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Nice. Um, I'm not really crazy about the idea of going for a really long swim, because as you can see, we don't move very fast in the water. So I think we're going to... This will be the extent of our exploration for this episode. But don't worry. Lots of exploration to come. That's a big part of this game. That's... I was going to say, those look like barnacles, not wood. So, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to chainsaw my way back home. And um, get a bunch of wood so that we can start making biomass. And I think, I think what we'll do is... Maybe build out into the water this way. Here, let me actually do something else. Let's go. Let's do a, a scan for copper. See if there's anything. Okay, there's something not too far to the north. Those are the ones that we're currently using. There's something up on that cliff there. Oh, shit. Unauthorized hostility towards me. Detected. Alright, we gotta... We gotta get this back in our hand. Because, again, I don't think we can use our chainsaw as a weapon. Should be able to. They're guarding another one of those, um... 
psychic ball thingy doodles. We'll eventually um, be able to get a ranged weapon, but that's a that's a little ways out yet. Okay, yeah. Mercer Sphere is what those are. I'm just going to run around here really quick and see if we can get up to where that copper deposit is and see if it is a like a pure deposit because it has basically twice the output as a normal deposit. right up here somewhere dead ahead that's cool looking okay there's probably gonna be a bad bad garden it oh here's iron right here okay Uh, I want to see if this is normal iron or pure iron. I don't think this tells us, does it? It is, it is pure. And it does tell you. Nice. Okay, so there's four... Pure iron... Right in this area. There's some sulfur right there. We'll also need that. Okay, let's um let's do the scan here. Oh, that's an impure copper. Okay. That kind of sucks. That's the only one around. So if we um if we did decide to build up here, I'm not saying we are going to. I'm just, you know, weighing the options. Well, we, <coughs> we wouldn't have a real good copper supply. Now, we, we could certainly, you know, truck the copper down here, up to here if we had to. But, but man, having four pure iron. Is that, is that what that really said? Did that say pure or did it say impure? Maybe I misread it. No, it says pure. So each one of these, for those of you who don't know, will generate 120 ore per second. All right, this guy's gonna be a dick. Let's just leave him alone. We don't have a, any compelling reason to kill him right now. And I'd rather use a ranged weapon on that dude anyway. This is cool looking up here. Pretty nice and flat area you could start a a smallish factory. I'm not ruling it out. Can we do we get wood from these cactus looking thingy my doodles? We got wood, leaves, and flower petals, but that's probably just because we went into the ground. Yeah, maybe you are supposed to get flower petals with it. Let's try this big tree. 15 wood, 53 leaves. Nice. These are cool looking trees. Which they give a lot of wood. Sixteen wood. Okay. Not a significant amount more than just the I guess you call those palm trees. Blue palms. Well, there's a slug right there for the taken. Well, actually, is it for the taking or is there a net nasty around? Whoa. 
Let's see. This is seriously unguarded. This semi-slug seems to emit unfamiliar energy readings, which could potentially be retrofitted into Fixit technology. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Oh, there was a dude over there. He was just too far away. Yeah, you did a shitty job guarding your uh, charge there, man. This is cool. This looks like coral. There's another slug down there on the beach. I love this because, again, I've, I've never seen this territory before. This is all brand new. Uh, but it does... Here, let's look at the map again. Well, yeah, I don't know. That's due north. I don't know if that way off in the distance is more of the map or if that's part of the distance landscape. This is great. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Um, I think, you know, unless... Unless we stumble across something absolutely amazing that we cannot resist. You're the only thing guarding that slug? I think what we're going to end up doing is... Just building something off of the... So neat. Uh, west coast there, you know, right kind of by where we are. Oh, there's bad, bad. All right. We've got two of those left. I want to go this way and you're... You're in my way, asshole. Yeah, run. Uh, I suggest you run away. Ow. All right, well, he didn't take our suggestion. The remains of this creature might shed light on how to increase chances of survival. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Nice. We're getting all kinds of new research stuff from just all, all this exploration we're doing. We want to stay away from that poison cloud shit. Okay. We're like massively going over time here. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'll go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And I'm just, like I said, I'm going to chainsaw my way back to the base. And unless I, unless I, you know, come across something really compelling I think we'll go ahead and and build off the coast you know in into the water here because that's just going to give us all kinds of room to expand with no obstacles we, it might be worthwhile to take a quick look at this pond down here and just kind of see what's going on in that area too so before we totally commit maybe we'll do that but that is it for now what what's falling on my head is it raining i didn't know it rained in this game did they is there like weather in this game now no it's not raining now it's just raining right here or was That is weird. I'm I'm seeing things. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Share out the video. What are those? Those are three normal iron notes. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.